The Center for Applied Brain and Cognitive Sciences is an innovative partnership between NSRDEC and Tufts University. The center is designed around the idea of bridging repeatable laboratory study to successful field work. The EEG laboratory can provide basic knowledge about um, human cognition and how we can optimize human cognition, which plays a role in improving performance not only for soldiers, but for first responders, for police, for firefighters. The new facility brings together a multidisciplinary group of world-renowned experts from the Tufts University School of Engineering and the U.S. Army Natick Soldier Research, Development, and Engineering Center. Establishing the Joint Center for Applied Brain and Cognitive Science is really a tremendous opportunity for NSRDEC and Tufts University to pioneer an innovative, multidisciplinary environment. These embedded Army researchers will work with Tufts faculty and the students side by side. Having the NSRDEC scientists at Tufts through the center expands our expertise. It expands the topic areas that are represented in the area. It expands the technological expertise, the statistical expertise. What's really outstanding about this is that it sort of came organically from the relationships that have been built by the faculty across these two institutions. In addition to the new center capabilities, the relationship provides unique opportunities to collaborate with existing world-class labs at Tufts University. My area of expertise is in the interaction between autonomous systems and humans. Uh, we are focusing on understanding what we need to do on the development of the system to make these interactions easier and more natural. We work on uh, naturally derived materials that can substitute plastics and that can have a more direct interface with the human body. The heart of our work is optimizing situational awareness for individuals and teams working in natural high-stakes environments. We can enhance perception through augmented reality systems. We can enhance comprehension through augmented reality and electrical brain stimulation. And we can better aid people in understanding what's going to happen in the future by providing them with the relevant just-in-time information to afford effective decision-making on the fly. We developed a multiplayer capability that can support from one to six individuals uh, in virtual reality. What's unique about that is we can get teams. We can get teams of individuals engaged in collaborative decision-making, planning, problem-solving, um, and start to elicit some of the behaviors that you see in the real world and operational environments in the laboratory. By doing this down selection at the level of the center, that saves us a lot of time and money and effort going out into the field, being sure that we have tasks that we're confident are going to work and produce the effects that we're looking for. It's a very different game to design something on a lab bench and then put it on somebody who's marching, who is crawling in wet conditions, or who is uh, who's jumping out of a plane. Our ability to place our participant in a virtual world that renders them immersed visually, auditorily, haptically, enables us to get a better understanding of how field-based research might work with the control of a laboratory-based study. The virtual reality facility could be used as an intermediate means for testing out tasks in a more real-world type scenario. The long-term goal of the center is to foster interdisciplinary advances in cognitive and brain sciences, enhancing the monitoring, prediction, and optimization of humans engaged in real-world behaviors.